David, today's day eight of the club's tour of Austria. How's it been going so far? Yes, brilliant. We've been uh, very pleased with it. Uh, obviously, the manager and I, I know this venue uh, very well, uh, but it's obviously new to uh, all, all the players here, and uh, it's a, probably a bit of a different uh, preparation for the new season than they're used to, but um, they've all bought into it, and it's, it's been very uh, successful. Can you just give us an overview of the sort of things that the players have been doing this week? Well, it, it's you know it's it's his hard work. There's, there's no way of uh, dressing it up. They, they they do they cycle up mountains. They run up mountains. Um, but it, it's you know we, we do this in uh, uh, along with our sports science department, and uh, you know we make sure everything's right and we're all going in the right direction. And uh, uh, the players will be feel a lot better for it uh, come August the 10th when we play Manchester City. Sports science department are obviously very important throughout the season, but is this their most important time of the year in terms of getting players fit? Well, we certainly need to monitor, uh, to monitor the players' uh, reaction to, to the work they're doing. Uh, we don't want to pick up any injuries. Uh, we've been very successful with that so far. And um, it, the next stage will be where we'll start playing. Uh, we play three games in five days next week. So it's another step, big step towards, as I say, the, the kick-off against Manchester City. And uh, you know, we'll make sure we're getting it all right. The players took part in a game last night against Red Bull Salzburg. What was your view on that? Well, obviously some of them are fatigued because they've been working uh, very hard. They, they get overloaded uh, in, in this week. So the game is just sort of basically getting 45 minutes of playing time uh, under their belt. Um, and it's, as I say, it's part of preparing uh, for the Premier League season. And now the season starts on August the 10th. Um, it gives an op opportunity to see some of the younger players who we have here with us. Um, you know, play, playing in uh, academy football, uh, even the game last night, though it's only a pre-season fr friendly, is a big step up for them, and I think you saw that in the game. And how impressed were you with their performance? Well, I mean, they're obviously very talented, that's, that's why they're here, but th there's a big difference, as I say, between academy football and, uh, you know, higher up level, level of professional football, and I think uh, the more experience they get with that, the better they'll be for it. A few of the senior lads sat out last night's game. Can you give us any update on, on where they are? Well, that, that, those are the, the, th the three lads that didn't take part. Um, were playing late, later than the other lads playing international football. Um, they didn't need the playing time quite as much, so they've, they've done all the other work that uh, the players have done. But um, they, you know, it won't hurt them to miss that one. But they'll, they'll be back playing, as I say, in these games we have next week. Got 24 more hours now in Austria. What are the, what's the, what are the plans for that time? Um, well, they've got a, a, a long bike ride and a swim uh, uh, this morning. Uh, there'll be more football work this evening, uh, and then they'll have a fitness test, last fitness test, tomorrow morning before we leave, and then they'll have a few days off, and then we have the, obviously the travel to the USA and, and and the games I was speaking about. Thanks for your time. Pleasure.